Hello, today we are going to discuss a problem on one dimensional heat equation which I have discussed about it in an earlier video. Now, let's move on to the question. It is solve the one dimensional heat flow equation dou u by dou t is equal to c square dou square u by dou t square. This is the generalized one dimensional heat equation and it's also given that u of 0 comma t is equal to 0 and u of l comma t is equal to 0 for which t greater than 0. These two are the initial boundary conditions at u of x comma 0 is equal to 3 sin pi x by l where 0 less than x less than l. Now let us move on to the solution of this problem. Now first write about the generalized equation that is dou u by dou t is equal to c square dou square u by dou x square. Let it be equation number 1 and the in boundary condition that is u of 0 comma t is equal to 0 the, let it be equation 2 u of l comma t is equal to 0 as equation number 3 and u of x comma 0 is equal to 3 sine pi x by l as equation number 4 now in the these are the initial conditions now the best equation the best solution to solve this equation is u of x comma t is equal to a cos lambda x plus b sine lambda x into e power minus lambda square c square into t. Now let us add 2 and 3 equations in this, e in this equation. Now u of 0 comma t is equal to 0 substituting these values cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 and substituting these conditions we get a into e power lambda square c square t for this condition to be equal to 0 a must be equal to 0 so for substituting the first initial value condition we get a is equal to 0 now substituting the second initial value condition that is u of l comma t that is as we know a is equal to 0 so this becomes 0 so only this equation remains so that is b sine lambda capital L because x is replaced by L here into e power minus lambda square c square into t in the earlier video we have discussed that b must not be equal to 0 so sine lambda L must be equal to 0 we all know that sine n pi is equal to 0 so equating lambda L it n pi so lambda is equal to n pi by l this is the required equation for the lambda so by substituting this the we get the solution of the solution as u of x comma t is equal to b sine in the place of lambda substitute n pi by l into x into e power minus c square n square pi square by l square into t you all may get the doubt that a cos x this a cos x is equal to 0 so in this e in the final equation we don't have a cos x so only we have b sin x and e, e power lam minus lambda square c square into t as we all know that here the n value is 1 2 3 and so on so the addition of these n value will also give us the solution so the equation is written as u of x comma t is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b and sine n pi by l into x e power minus c square n square pi square t by l square since in the question it is given that u of x comma 0 is equal to 3 sin pi x by l so put u of x comma 0 in this equation in this equation let us equal equation number 5 put this in equation number 5 so then it becomes u of x comma 0 that is equal to that is summation and is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi by l into x exponential minus c square n square pi square here the t the t is 0 here so 
by L square e power 0 1 so u of x comma 0 is 3, 3 sine pi x by L 3 sine pi x by L is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sine n pi by L into x let n is equal to 1 then 3 sine pi x by 2 will get equal to b1 sine n n will becomes 1 so it becomes only pi x by l so equating lhs and rhs sine pi x by l sine pi x by l can will be same so then b1 is equal to 3 so the remaining b2 which is equal to b3 which is equal to b4 are equated to 0 so now the final solution is u of x comma t is equal to the value of b is 3. So 3 sine pi x by l into exponential e power minus c square lambda uh, pi square t by l square. This is the required equation for this problem. Thank you.